Escape is never the point. It's a fight to the death. And when they're caught, they grab them and pull them apart. Fox pens are operations where individuals purchase animals um, through the black market or through trappers, put them inside fenced enclosures, and then have dogs chase them in competition. The dogs are judged on how they pursue the wildlife. So judges are, are stationed around the pen and they are able to see when dogs are following uh, coyotes or foxes. But they're not always there when the dog finally catches up to the tired coyote or fox. And, uh, and if that happens and they're not able to get there, then the dogs usually rip apart the uh, coyote or fox. The trade in the animals is particularly problematic. We're seeing that foxes and coyotes are being trapped in one state, usually with a steel jaw leg hole trap or a, another trap, thrown in the back of a truck and then transported long distances just to be thrown inside of a pen and then chased until they're ripped apart by a pack of dogs. Disease is definitely a major concern, and state wildlife agencies ought to be paying particular attention to the disease risks. Coyotes and foxes are disease vector species. They carry rabies. So to transport an animal across state lines who could potentially have rabies is a big problem. But cruelty far and above is the biggest problem involved in fox penning. A basic tenet of wildlife management in this country is that wildlife belong in the wild and wildlife belong to all of us. So to make a few bucks off of selling a live animal across state lines or within the state in order to throw this poor animal in a pen and then have dogs chase them to exhaustion and rip them apart is a big problem. Visit humanesociety.org to learn how you can help put a stop to this brutality.